Phil? Ready? Yeah. How's your face? It's great. You're not going to do anything stupid, are you? Not today. What do you think? Phil? Me? Lisa? Jamie? Sam? Oh, and you! Oh, we've got a full house. Are you sure you want me here, Peggy? Oh, well, yeah, of course I am. Now, you and me, we're going to go downstairs, open up for an hour and a half or so, and then we'll all come back up here and tuck it. Yeah, but I don't want to get in the way or anything. It's just that, well, Lisa and me, we haven't exactly been seeing eye to eye lately. Well, now's the chance to make up, isn't it? You know, Mel, the whole thing about Christmas is, no matter what's happened during the year, no matter how hard it's been, everyone gets a chance to come together and, you know, start afresh. Right. Well, as long as you're sure. Oh, positive. Size. what else will you do? You never said anything about going to the Vic. I thought we were just going to stay indoors. Oh, well, it's Barry's idea. Free drinks, apparently. Your mum coming home for Christmas, is she? No, no, we're all on our told. Got a lucky you all, mate. Oh, we ain't got all day. <laughs> what are you wearing? I told you, I'm not getting dressed. Hate to say, girl, what's wrong with putting a few clothes on? It's Christmas Day, I never get dressed. <laughs> I like a quiet day at home with the family. That's how Mum had it, that's how it's always been. Look, I'm freezing my watches off here. Can't we just get a move on? With her like that. Oh, all right, go on, you go on, I'll catch up with you. Come on, Gary, let's get a couple of pints down our throat before they drive us both mad. <laughs> Did you see that present Gary got me? Yeah, tiny, isn't it? Tight no, 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 I think it's... No! <laughs> don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. Is Jamie in there? Uh, no. No, he ain't. Can I give him a message? Just going to give him his present, that's all. All right. Well, I can pass it to him if you like. Thanks. Merry Christmas. You could at least have talked to her. What does she want? To give you this. I feel guilty now. Have you finished? Answer that, will you? Don't let her get to you. You're doing the right thing. I think so? Definitely. Yes, you let a slag like Sonia get her hooks into you. You're finished. Well, I wasn't very nice to her. Listen, if there's one thing I've learned about women, it's this. You let them get close, and they got you. It's, um... No, no, no. It's on the house. Drink to the whole family. Thank you. Mel, you keep them lined up, and I'll go get some more champagne. <laughs> Very generous, Peggy. All this free booze. Yeah, well, you know me, Mark. Life and soul of the party. Can I have one? No, you can't. You ask me, she's not a well woman. Free drink, free lunch, Auntie Pauline's. I feel a bit like I'm a beggar. I mean, look at them. I don't really want me there for dinner. They wouldn't have asked you if they didn't want you to come. Yeah, and you don't know my family. Auntie Pauline wouldn't see a dog out on the street for Christmas. Ian, it'll be fine, I promise you. Your partner around? What Prince Nazim? Oh, he's probably barricading the club waiting for the second round. Yeah, well, he won't have to wait long. Hey, darling, how are you? Oh, I'm not. The place looks really nice, Peggy. Thanks, I was up half the night fixing you. I need you to give me a hand upstairs. A uh, bit of bad news, Mum. Sam's cancelled. Oh, why? What happened? Oh, uh, she's double booked. Some bloke, I think. Oh, why couldn't she call me? Well, she has. She just keeps getting the answer. Maybe that upstairs phone's on the blink again. <sighs> well, never mind. I suppose these things happen. Besides, we've got one extra. Mel's coming. Tracy, four glasses over here when you're ready, please. Let's go upstairs. Alice? <sighs> yeah. If you ask me, that lad ain't worth shedding one tear over. Gwen knows why he doesn't deserve you. <laughs> I love him, though. Look, Gwen, why don't you go to the Vic, get your free drink? We'll catch you up. You sure? I mean, I don't want to lumber you or anything. All right, I'll go and get my clad rags on, then. Oh, I made such a mess of everything, are not I? Me and Jamie getting pregnant. 
threw my baby away. You did what you thought was right. I know that, but I miss her. So useless. I even got her a present and I didn't even send it. She won't know. No. But I will. Oh, after you, Columbo. Ma. Poor Nick. What are you doing here? What are you staying with a mate? No, no, just someone I met, you know, in there. She said she'd show me the ropes at the hostel. When I woke up this morning, she disappeared, took all my money with her. All money? What money? Oh, well, it weren't much, Nick, you know, just a few quid. And I'd left my bus pass in my other bag. I'd walk all the way home. I can hardly feel me toes. Don't believe it. Christmas Day and all. Yeah. Don't have much luck, do you? Well, all I want to do is sit down and have a nice cup of tea. Yeah, yeah right. Well, listen, why don't you nip me in a Vic see Pauline first? I'll tidy up a bit. Oh, no, I couldn't go in there. No, I ain't ready to face them yet. No, all I want is a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, there's hardly anyone in there. It's as quiet as a grave, I promise. Take me case. Oh, me feet. What are you wearing now? Not a lot. That's coat and a pair of slippers. Now, can I have a drink, please? Melanie. Yeah, just a minute. So what was you saying about Sandra? Well, she came, she went, we had an argument, standard stuff, you know? Not that I'm cynical or anything. Well, at least you get to spend Christmas with your son. Yep, and that's all I want. Hey, Cap. Like the outfit. Give us a flash, eh? <laughs> Enough for you. <laughs> yes, haha, <laughs> five points, Redshot. Are you listening to me? Mars over there now. In half an hour, she's going to walk through that door, expecting the Christmas of a lifetime. And what we got? Nothing. Look. No food, no booze, no presents, one pathetic tree, not one flaming thing. What's she going to do about it? Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe she'll be a little bit disappointed. Maybe she'll be a little bit upset. Maybe she won't cut us in on that fat wedge from Ethel. All right. What's the plan, Dad? Well, we ain't got much choice, have we? If we ain't got a Christmas of our own, we just have to go out and nick someone else's. Oh. Surprised to see you here. I thought you'd be over at the B&B, carving up your mince pie. Look, Peggy, this wasn't my idea. I'll go if you like. I don't want to see. No! No, you stay here. After all, what's mine's yours. Oh, yeah? You giving Lynn a present, yeah? No, no, no. I like to uh, build up the suspense, you know, tease her a little bit, keep her in the dark. <laughs> Actually, it's a family tradition, presents after lunch. Right, well, it's, it's lucky I brought mine with me then, eh? Yeah, Otherwise, I'd have felt right out of place. What do you mean? I didn't go and tell you. I'm coming over for Christmas dinner, can't we? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Listen, Phil, um, I'm really sorry. Oh, don't be. It's not your fault, is it? No, but if I hadn't told Peggy about the deal... No, you put me straight. I appreciate it. Well, Steve didn't. Where is Steve? He's gone. Just bombed out of here. Left me on my tod. Merry Christmas, eh? Well, you ain't even found you. Not a word. Um, I'd better get back. What's that all about? No, oh, nothing. She's, uh, she's a bit down about Steve. What are you? A priest? Jamie, if I can talk Dad round, we're gonna go Tenerife. It's gonna be great. Clubbing, boozing, sunbathing. Play cards right and we'll show you our snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Another word. Hey, bring him back. What do you want? Nothing much. Just to tell you that you're spineless. You know my sister's over there crying her eyes out because of you. Robbie, I didn't want to upset her, all right? No, of course you didn't. That's why you called her a slag. And I used to like you, Jamie. I used to think you were a decent bloke, but you're not. You're a bully. Just like Phil. Hello, can I have a cab, please? As uh, soon as possible. Bingo. Right, um, I think.
think we're just going to nip back and check on dinner. Why? I'm having a good time. Come on. Oh, quick. See shortly. Oi, landlady. Get some more drinks, will you? You touch one drop of alcohol, young lady, and you're out of that door. My dad always used to let me have a little tipple. Then why aren't you with him, then? Oh, she likes you, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, another quick word. No, we'll be polite. We'll make an effort. That's as far as it goes. Can I have a bit of quiet, please? Uh, I want to thank you all for coming, and it's so nice to see so many friendly faces. We're shutting up in ten minutes, so we can have a family dinner together. My family, all together. Anyway, I'm back, and I'm here to stay, so... Very Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Dad, I've got the grub. Bung these in. We'll put the tree on top. What about the telly? Nah, that'd be too cruel. <laughs> Got there, you've been cramping their style. You are joking, I've been the perfect host. Do me a favour, now just leave them alone, will you? Give them a chance. All right, I'm sorry. Let's go back to the pub, come on. Kiss, kiss first. Mm. Where are you going? I'm getting Terry's present. It's a fighting cushion, he's going to love it. Well, um, I've got a better idea. Why don't we, um, nip upstairs? What for? Yeah, yeah, I suppose we could, you know, uh, with a bit of space, eh? It's up to you. Come on. <laughs> what do you want? I just wanted to... No, I've got to go. Sonia, I need to talk to you. I've got a cab waiting. Well, where are you going? To deliver this. No, I'll take you. What? Sonia, I need to talk to you. Cancel the cab. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Stunning. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen, please. Come on, you've all got homes to go to. You OK? Yeah. Wonder where they've got to. Yeah. What have I got to look forward to, eh? Cold flat, frozen Christmas food. You're coming to us. No arguments. Uh to you, Dad. First Jimmy and Terry and now Billy. Poor bloke's lonely. Yeah, well, it's Christmas Day. You know Mum's rule. No strangers, just family. Your mum's gone, love. It's time we all moved on. Christmas is for charity. Yeah, well, that's not going to bring her back. Nothing is. I don't believe it. Look at this here. The house is all shut up. I didn't have my key. I didn't know what to do. Did oh. Trevor release you then? <laughs> no, um... I've left him. Eureka! Oh, she's oh, seen the light! Oh, well done, girls! Merry Christmas. Come on, everybody. It's time to go. All right, we'll go. Yeah, come on, you lot. Oh, Home you go, all of you. Have you lot down here? You will come in oh, later, sorry. won't you, Dot? Yes, but what about my Nick, you know, and Ashley? Oh, well, bring them with you. More and merrier. <laughs> Panic, everything's under control. Just getting changed for dinner. Where's Christmas gone? They've nicked the lot. Turkeys, spuds, sprouts, everything. How could this happen? What, what have you been doing up there? Nothing. We were, um... They're not getting away with this! Hey, Barry! Where are you? Come on! I know you're out here somewhere. What's happening, Belle? Some gets nipped in and cleaned us out. They've taken the tree, the presents. They've taken my spuds. Yeah, that's rough, mate, isn't it? Look, don't worry. I've got an idea. Oh, Nick, not again. Oh, do stop playing, silly beggars. I mean, all I want to do is sit there and have a cup of tea. I'm wore out. Open them. Oh, 
presents to. Oh. 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 Right, that's it. Let's go upstairs. What about this lot? I'll do it. I'll, uh, I'll give you in. No, I need Mel to help me with the veg. Where's Jamie? Who's the present for? Chloe. Have you got a problem with that? Right, it's about half a mile up there on the left, I think. Well, why don't we go for a drink first, yeah? What for? To talk. We can talk here. Come on, it'll be nice. Okay, we'll go for a quick drink. Over there, yeah? Ten minutes. We'll get straight back on the road. I promise. Yeah, look. Oh, it's gorgeous. I bet that cost a package. Well, she's worth it. My daughter had one exactly the same, you know. Oh, my dad got me this wicked <laughs> present as well, right? A designer coat with real leather. It's lovely. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it misery chops, yeah, faster gravy. All right. Cheers, Cheers. All right. And Mum, I've got your little present. I hope you like it. Oh. That's much better. That spaghetti right. went straight through me. Oh, charming. Oh, boy. We don't do presents at the table, house rule. Oh, we'll worry about that, Nan. We've chucked everything out the window this year. You can't wait, can you, doll? You see? It's just like Janine's. There are. This is very good of you, you know, Pauline. Well, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we'll manage. Ah. It's coming through. Oh, aren't you? Thank Thanks, Tom. Barry, they've got to go around a lot of people, love. You're Take not, it easy. No, no, I'm not blind. Hey, hey, she's got a point, you know, Barry. Personally, I prefer a, a good <laughs> film to a game show. I don't even mind if I've seen it a couple of times, but it's got to be a classic. What, like The Great Escape? Yeah. 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 Hey, they die with their boots on. Yeah. Good. Gone with the wind. Oh, oh, speaking of wind, sweetheart, you don't have to keep your scarf on all through lunch. It's not cold in here. It's a Christmas present. Laura made it for me. Oh, wow, that is fantastic. I wish I had one. You must have really splashed out. <laughs> Martin, it's the thought that counts. Oh, yes, boy. that is right, dear. Well, uh... Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Mel, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm at Jackie's. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I was well out of order. I shouldn't have said the things I did. I, I didn't mean them, not one of them. You know that, right? Look, I miss you. You know, I love you, darling. You give me the word, I'll come straight back right now, right this minute. Look, you call me when you get this, okay? Hey, Merry Christmas. What if Jamie's not the Jacksons? Where is he? Don't worry, I'm sure he won't be long. He's Probably just sorting things out with Sonia. Yeah, well, I hope so. I just want a nice family dinner. Well, I'd better get another couple of these. We're going through them very quickly. It's going to be midnight before we eat. I'm absolutely starving. Oh, are you? But don't worry. I'm sure you'll get more than your fair share. Lisa, why are you doing this? This. Whenever you see me having a go, we're supposed to be friends. Are we? Well, friends don't muscle in whenever they get the chance. Look, if you don't want me here, I can go and have lunch somewhere else. I really don't care. Oh, yeah, you're really going to do that. Yeah, I will. Me? I'll go right now. And then Phil will blame me, just like he does for everything else. Look, your problems with Phil are nothing to do with me. You aren't exactly helping, though, are you? I mean, you're always in our face, always around. And now you're here 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, I work here. It's more than that, though, isn't it, Mel? You always have to be teacher's pet, crawling up to Phil. Him listening to your problems, you listening to his. You're not jealous, are you? You pretend to be Little Miss Perfect when, in fact, you're just one great big tease. Are you calling me a tease now? Yeah, I am. You know, I feel sorry for Steve. I bet he don't know whether he's coming or going. No wonder he whacked Phil. He's probably so frustrated. I'm just trying to be careful. No, you're not. You're running scared like you always do. All you ever do is play games, keep people dangling. I mean, look at you. 
Don't have one proper relationship in two years. So what was Ian then? Oh, Ian was a joke and you know it. In fact, I could count the number of times you've had sex on one hand. What is it with you? Scared of getting out or do you just not like doing it? Oh, here speaks the world's expert. A virgin till she was 28. Yeah, well, at least I'm making up for lost time. Oh, bully for you. Lisa Shaw joins the adult world. Yeah, that's right. Cos I can make a commitment. I can take a risk. You can't. You're a failure, Melanie. And you're gonna end up all on your own. <laughs> what has happened for you, eh? You used to be a really good mate. You used to be attractive, independent. You were a right laugh. Yeah, yeah, Now yeah, look yeah. at you. You're just a boring, frumpy little housewife, Lise. In fact, you're a mess. And so are you! I'm going! Just, just hold on no, a second. No, I'm not right? standing around here to be insulted by you. Keep your precious Christmas dinner. I really don't want anything to do with it. What did you say? Oh, I said it's all my fault. Brilliant. Three down and three to go. Well done, Lisa. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. She's just thrown wine all over me. She's ruined my dress. Well, look, why don't you go over to my place, have a shower and cool down. By the time you get back, everything will be fine. You are joking. Look, I'll talk to Lisa and straighten things out. Please, I mean, mum's been banking on this. It's, it's a big day for her. You walk out now, that, the whole thing will be ruined. For me? Here it comes. You can lay into me now. This is ridiculous. All I wanted was a nice, quiet family dinner. And you're going to get one, Mum. Look, you two finish up here. I'll, I'll go out and round up Jamie. Talk to Mel and I'll bring them both back here. You sure you wouldn't rather I went off instead? Then you can all have a nice time without me. I'll be back in ten minutes, all right? So, Martin tells you I'm a slag, and, and you, you, you buy it. No. It wasn't like that. I just thought if you didn't know who the father was, then that's why you weren't telling. Oh, you don't understand me at all, do you? I'm oh, sorry. I shouldn't have believed it. Sonia, I was hurt. Hurt? What have you got to be hurt about? I've done nothing to you. You won't trust me. Of course I trust you. Then why won't you tell me? I love you, and I want to be with you, but how can I if you keep lying? What if you didn't like what I had to say? It wouldn't make a difference. I don't care who it was, I don't care how it happened, I just need to know. Trust me. Who was it? Martin. You all right? Yeah, um, I'm just helping myself to your booze. Hope you don't mind. It's not mine. It's Lisa's. I don't suppose Jamie's here, is he? No. Been looking all over for him. Listen, Phil, I don't think I'm going to come back over there if that's all right by you. Well, why not? Is there some silly rut? I've had a drink and I've had a shower and I just don't feel any better. I'm going to ruin things. We can make things up with Lisa, no problem, can't we? I don't think so. Look, it's your family. It's not mine. I shouldn't have been there in the first place. So what are you going to do? Go to Steve's? I don't know. It was a mess. I was a virgin, I was drunk. It was horrible. He's been saying all them things. Listen, it doesn't matter anymore. Just forget about it. He's not He's important. been there all this time. He's been in the square, laughing behind our backs. He said it wouldn't matter. Well, I was wrong. Jamie. Jamie, where are you going? Jamie. Jamie, come back. He is not getting away with this. Well, what are you going to do? I'll go back and sort him out. Tony, you can't do that, all right? I trusted you. I told you in confidence. Get in the car, Sonia. You're not going. Don't call my bluff, Sonia. You would not just leave me here. Jamie! 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 
Steve's the one with the problem, not you. Oh, Steve, Ian, Dan. It's a long list of nothing. It's all my fault. You don't deserve it. Yeah, well, he's walked out on me. Lisa hates me. He's playing with you. He's using you. He always has done. Things he said. What things? What did he say? It was nothing. No, no. What did he say to you, Phil? It doesn't matter. I, I shouldn't have said it. Tell me. He said they. He didn't love you anymore. He, he said that. Oh, come on, love. Don't. Don't cry. Come on, don't cry. It's Christmas Day. You can't, you can't cry on Christmas Day. Oh, no, they're right. They're both right. I'm never going to be happy. Maybe there's just something wrong with me. What could possibly be wrong with you? Oh, God. I'm uptight. I play games. Well, you don't seem uptight to me. Yeah, well, I am. I always have to be in control, otherwise I just panic. You know, I'm, I'm always holding on so tight, just trying to do the right thing. Where has it got me? It's got me nowhere. It's got me absolutely nothing. I mean, what, what if this is it? You know, what if I'm going to spend the rest of my life lying low? <laughs> Looking around the corner, just making sure nothing bad's coming along. <sighs> oh. Oh. Phil, it's all such a mess. <sighs> sometimes, you know, sometimes I feel like... A... Oh, I just feel like I, I want to let go, you know? I want to be a bit more like him. Not give a damn about anyone. Well, why don't you then? Hey. Just for once. Too scared. <laughs> of what? <laughs> what I might do. You won't know until you try, will you? Will you? What have you got to lose, eh? Coming. Of course he is. He'll be here any minute. He's been gone for over half an hour. I'm gonna go over there. Well, why bother? Look, the whole thing, it's ruined. Stone cold. I'll be five minutes, Peggy. We better go. I feel terrible. Well, don't. Well, Lisa's my best friend. I'm engaged. Steve Hurting. He had it coming. End of story. Well, and that's it? That's our excuse? We don't need an excuse. We wanted it, so we did it. I didn't. <laughs> really? You could have fooled me. Phil, what has got into you? I think we'd better go. What, go back over there and have dinner? Why not? You really expect me to sit across the table now from Lisa? Well, what do you want to do? Stay here? What am I going to do? I've told you, haven't I? And as for the rest, talk about that tomorrow, shall we? What rest? You and me. I've got to get dressed. Where are my things? Downstairs. Covered in wine, remember? All right, so what am I going to wear? Borrow one of Lisa's. I've got to get out of here.
want that, don't be a wuss. No, no, no. no. I dare you. So be it. I've got such a pile, I thought I'd open them round here. Well, as you can see, we've got a full house, bit of a tight squeeze, but we'll manage. Uh -huh. What happened to her? Oh, no, I was just playing a game, Dot. <laughs> You're next, Dot. Get your coat off. <laughs> what have you been doing? I've been out there for ages. Where's your keys? You've got them. Oh, right, I forgot. So what kept you? Nothing. Uh, just talking to Mel. Mel? Yeah, talking to Mel. She's not too happy. I'm just trying to calm her down. Where is she? What? Melanie, you've been talking to her. Where is she? She's, uh, upstairs. What's she doing up there? Well, she had a shower and now she's getting changed. Getting changed? Yeah, I think... I think so. I don't know. In our room? Well, where do you want her to get changed? In the street? You're the one that spilt wine over in the first place. Yeah, that's right, Phil. It's all my fault, innit? Now, why don't you tell me what you've been doing for the past half an hour? Well, what do you think I've been doing? I've been looking for Jamie. I couldn't find him, so I came back here and talked to Mel. What have you been talking about? I was trying to persuade her to come back. She's upset. She's upset? How do you think I feel? How do you think Peggy feels? This was meant to be her big family do, Christmas dinner. Now she's sat there all on her top. Well, that's not my fault, is it? I mean, Sam's cancelled her and Jamie's scarred. You promised you'd make it nice for her. Well, you're the one that's arguing, Mel, not me. I'm just trying to smooth things over. What's that? What? And, and that. It's, it's Mel's dress. What's it doing down here? I told you she had a shower. She took this off down here? Well, I don't know, do I? I've only been back a few minutes. Look, I came back, she was upstairs having a shower, I waited, and, and then I talked to her. So if she ain't wearing this, what is she wearing? One of yours. You gave her one of my dresses? Yeah. I said she could borrow one. What's a, what's a big fuss? You've got no idea, have you? <sighs> this is my house. That's my bedroom and they're my clothes. Oh, this is stupid. Lisa, what are you doing? Lisa, leave her alone. She's upset. Let go of me! Just leave her alone. Get in there. <laughs> I'm. 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 Fifth word. Fifth word. Do. Do you think I'm? I'm. Do you think I'm gross? Oh, do you think I'm a cheap little tar? Sexy. Yes. Do you think I'm sexy? Do you think I'm sexy? Well done, girl. Well done, girl. Well done. So I suppose you'll be off soon. You must have people to visit, things to do. Oh, no, I'm fine, here, thanks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Peggy. I bet she's dying to see you. And let's try and get this day back on track. And how are you going to do that, Philo? What are you going to do? We're going to go back over to Vic. We're going to kiss and make up. And we're going to have this dinner. There is no dinner. It's ruined. What are you talking about? It's only been half an hour. You really think we can all sit down and make chit-chat? The whole day's a washout. And why is that? Hey, Lisa? Because this family is a farce. You, me, Peggy, all sitting around pretending we like each other. It's a joke. No. No, you're the joke. Burning Kathy's letter. Lying. Yeah, that's right. And it's all down to you. <laughs> me? Mel's right. A year ago, I was a different person. A year ago, you were whining about Kathy, weren't you? Yeah, and you were selling half the pub to Dan, remember? What's the point of dragging all that up, eh? Because it matters. Look what you've done to me. You've... You've lost me my job. You've taken away my confidence. You've just ground me down. I got pregnant. What did you do? You rejected me. We've been through all this, haven't we? Then as soon as I lost the baby, guess what? You really wanted it. You were heartbroken for about a day. And well, that's not true, and you know it. I wanted that baby, didn't I? Yeah, well, thank goodness we haven't got it. Can you imagine if we had a baby now? We'd just be another victim of yours. 
Kathy, Grant, Peggy, Frank, Ricky, Ian. You've had a hand in all of it. In fact, you've had a record year. And that's all my fault, is it? Peggy and Frank were fine till you stuck Dan in the Vic. Six months later, they'd fallen apart. Had nothing to do with me. You hurt everyone, Phil. Even Jamie. He listens to every word you say. You tell him to dump Sonia, and he just goes and does it. I never hurt Jamie. I care about him. He looks up to you. He respects you. Yeah, and I've been good to him, haven't I? And he does exactly what you tell him to do, just like Ben would have. The poor kid is lucky he got away. Just leave Ben out of it. Why? Why should I? Because Ben has got nothing to do with you. And this whole mess is your fault. And you're just trying to turn it around and blame me like you always you do. You really believe that, don't you, Phil? You, you really think you're just an innocent bystander in all this? Your mum is over there now and she's miserable because of you. Me? I'm the only one there for her. What are you talking about? Do you know she's on tranquilizers? What? I found them in the kitchen. So? So, she ain't well. Have you really talked to her, Phil? This whole bright new world of hers is just one great big fake. She's fine. She's had her heart broken. And you've made it worse. You're the one that persuaded her not to give Frank another chance. I said she's fine. Now just shut up about my family, all right? No! No, I won't! Shut up! No! Lisa! What are you going to do? Hit me? Listen, if you don't shut up, I'm going to shut you up, all right? Well, you're going to hit me. Come on. You're going to whip me? I'm warning you, I said. Go on, then, do it. I don't care. You're a balding, stupid little man, and I'm sick of you. <gasps> you hit me. You're hysterical. I can't believe you just hit me. I don't care. Now, just, just get over there, start serving dinner, and I'll be over in a minute. You've really hurt me, Phil. Oh. Did you hear me? I don't want to hear any more. Now just get over there and start serving dinner. No. No, I ain't going to be bullied by you anymore. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to bed. I'm just... no. What's the matter with you? I told you to get out of here. Phil, please, don't. She's gone. What are you doing, Mark? I'm putting me presents down. No, no, you can't do that. Why not? <laughs> There you go. Oh, cheers. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. In fact, I'm quite happy. No, I'm serious. It's all down to you. Don't, don't be silly. In fact, I think... Oh, hello. Come on in, don't see what you got, don't shy. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on in here? You've done mine. You've ruined her life. What has he done? It was you all along, wasn't it? It was you all along. What was? Sonia's baby. You used her. You done her dirty. You've been lying to her. Oh, it was you all along. Oh, what was? It's Sonia's baby. You used her. You dumped her, and you've been laughing about it ever since. I don't know what he's talking about. You're a liar, Martin. It's nothing to do with me. All right? I want to see a fast leg like that anyway. Give me the right answer. You would have paid for this, mate. I'll get you for this. Shut up, you. Come on, out of my house. She was coming up the stairs. I don't care. You had no right to speak to her like that. Well, she was out of order. She has been for days winding me up and slagging you off. Yeah, with good reason, because everything she said is true. She's jealous. She's unhappy, Phil. Or are you completely blind? You are making her unhappy. Listen, this ain't about Lisa. It's about you and me. Uh, no, this is about Lisa. She's my best friend. And she's your girlfriend. What do you think that is? Some sort of mad coincidence? We've done a terrible thing, Phil, and we're going to have to pay. 
And how's she gonna know? What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? I'll sort that out. I'm going. Mel! I'm getting out of here, I told you. And that's it? No, that's not just it. We've got to live with it. Or are you used to this sort of thing? I'm sure that you did this to your wife as well. Yeah, I'll make an habit of this. I've got girls training in and out of here all week. Oh, you don't give a damn, do you? Well, why should I? Phil, you're out of control. And innocent people are being hurt. Peggy, Lisa, Ian, you finished him off. And don't tell me you never, because I was there, I saw you, I was in the same room. Yeah, and you loved it, didn't you? Turned you on. What are you talking about? Mel, I've got your number. You love it. You hang out with the bad boys, you get your thrill, and then you go running back home to the convent. You're sick. So I'm wrong. It wasn't like that with Dan. It wasn't like that with Steve. And it wasn't like that with me. Now why don't you just grow up, eh? Stop pretending to be something you ain't. You love it. And you're gonna come back for more. This may come as a terrible shock to you, Phil. But I don't even fancy you. I never have. So what was that earlier on then, eh? You going for an Oscar? It was what it was, and nothing more. <laughs> and what does that mean? It means it was a mistake. It was nothing. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go and speak to my friend. Yeah? So what are you going to do? Exchange notes? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. I'm going to tell her. You wouldn't. Right, and, and what exactly have I got to lose? She's your friend, isn't she? Steve. Well, like you said, he's run off. He doesn't even care about me. She doesn't love me. Or did you make that up? You, you made that up, didn't you? Is that what all this is about? It's is about you and Steve getting your own back. No, I didn't lie to you, all right? Oh, I'm going. No. Get to off me! You tell her now. She'll never talk to you again. She like you, she like me. You blow her whole life. Yeah, and maybe that's exactly what she needs, Phil. You think you know what's going on between me and her, but you don't. You don't know what I feel. I've done a really terrible thing. And I'm going to tell her. I'm going to take my chances. But as for you, I really don't care what happens. Listen. Get off you, me! I'm not going anywhere, all right? What's going on? Um... Now and Lisa had a bit of a rut, I'm just trying to straighten things out. I feel I really need to talk to you. Well, maybe later, yeah? No, no, now's fine. I've got to go anyway. You, see I'll you come two. with you. Why? If you want to talk, just do it right here. Do it right now. Don't forget you've got that mess to sort out. You come after me, Phil. And I'm going to scream so loud. Why did he say it? Because he's mad, naffed off, or maybe Sonia wanted to stir things up. Why would Sonia want to do a thing like that? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a mind reader, am I? Well, just listen. I'm not having our Christmas ruined. I'm going to bed. No, you're not. Martin, you're not going anywhere. I want some answers. Now, is this true? No. Martin. Martin! I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to see that Look, Sonia. Mum, just give him a bit of space, will you? We need to calm down here. Calm down? I want to know. Oh. 
Oh. Hello. Hi. Um, is, is Mark in there? I was just going to pop in and, and say Happy Christmas. Well, it's not a very good time right at the moment, darling. If I was you, I'd come back tomorrow. OK. Thanks. I was so angry. <sighs> Wasn't thinking straight. Uh, I dumped Sonia, I came back here and I steamed straight into it. Well, that's all right, isn't it? No, it's not all right. It's ruined everything. I mean, what does it matter? What does it matter who the father is? At the end of the day, the baby is still there and it's ruined everything. Well, she's giving it away, isn't she? So? Just because Ben's on the other side of the world doesn't mean you don't think about him. Well, look, you can spend some time together and work it out, can't you? Phil, you told me to dump her. <laughs> Never said that. She did. You said she was a slut. Jay. Jay, it's gonna be all right, I promise you. We can sort this out, mate, OK? But right now, I've got things to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lovely to see you. You'll both have to come back next year. Oh, yeah, it's been a real pleasure. Oh, that's pleasure's mine. Yeah. Enjoy your earrings, wouldn't you? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I thought they were never going to leave. Oh, next year, just family, eh, Dad? Sold. Hey, listen, I've got a bottle of scotch back at Mark F. Anyone fancy a night, yeah? No, thanks. I might just pop in and see Peggy. It's all right. Yeah, what, what, what for? Well, in case you'd forgotten, she is still officially my stepmother. I haven't cut off all my ties, you know. Yeah, but she threw you out. She was terrible to you. Yeah, that might just be why I want a word, Terry. Now sit tight. I'll be back soon, all right? I promise. Over to wish you a Merry Christmas. Where's the rest of the family? Upstairs? No. No, I'm on my own. Now, if you don't mind. Here. How'd you like my new leather coat? Designer, you know. Daddy bought it for me. I spoke to him this morning, actually. He sent his love. Really? Did he get you anything? No. No, he didn't. Oh, just a card then, eh? Nothing. Well... Mind you, I'm not surprised. What with his hectic lifestyle parties and, you know, friends. How interesting. Well, yeah, but then there's his new girlfriend, Jo. She's lovely, you know, ever so young. Well, younger than you are, anyway. Get out. Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. You know, you always were a poisonous little bitch, Janine. Get out of my pub! My pub? See, now... What exactly have you got left, Peggy? I mean, I've gone, Dad's gone, and who have you got? No one. Get out! Go on! Get out! Get out of my pub! Go on! And don't come back! Oh, don't you worry, I won't. You're a sad old woman, Peggy Mitchell. And I'm glad that my dad's got a shot of you. Well, good night. Good night. Hey, um, still got flour on your cheek. What, here? Happy Christmas. She told Jamie that Martin was the father. Martin? She didn't. Are you calling me a liar? I just can't believe she'd be so stupid. That's my son you're talking about. Yeah, well, what, what do you want me to do about it? Well, you're the grandfather. You're responsible. Well, look, look, she ain't here. I mean, if you don't believe me, you can search the place. Right. Well, when she gets back, 
Just you tell her Pauline Fowler wants a word. No, you're in there. Lisa, wait a minute. I need to talk to you. I didn't mean those things that I said. Really, I didn't. Yes, you did. You meant them all, and you were right. Well, you hurt me, and I wanted to hurt you back. That's all it was. <laughs> well, it worked. Lisa, you're my best friend. You're the only person around here I really care about. You. Oh, I've been a bitch. Oh, no, I've been a bitch. The truth is, I was jealous of what? Of you. Everything about you, the way, the way you look, the way you are, you and Phil. Me and... Your friendship. It's an end to talk to you. It's no, uh, I want to apologise. Oh, she's not interested. Come on, Megan. Uh, are you deaf or something? Listen, it's not too late to sort this out. We can go back, we can have dinner. Dinner? What, in there? Oh, no, I'm in the wrong. Peggy's still there, isn't she? She's still there all on her own. You'll forget about Mum. <laughs> like you forget about me? She's your responsibility, Phil. You're meant to be looking after her. No! Just no. Leave me alone. Do something right for once, please. Just go and see your mum. You heard her. Now get out of here before I say something I might regret. You're right. Yeah. From now on, right, me and you, we stick together. Whatever they do. Steve and Phil, whatever happens, 
We stick together, right? Right? Right. There. It's all the sun. Oh, I like it. It's all Christmassy. Hey, Boxing Day, nothing ever happens. Well, football's on later, isn't it, Chess? Yeah. I thought you were taking me to the pub. Well, yeah, we'll still be back in time for kick-off, though. Is that all you think about, booze and football? No, but two out of three ain't bad. Oi! I was talking about you, darling. Yeah, of course you were. Yeah, you still haven't opened Billy's present. Oh. You all right, love? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we play a game or something? Oh, no, thanks. Gerard! I'm going to go first. All right, it's a film. Brief encounter. <laughs> oh, where'd you know that? Because you did it yesterday. And last year, and the year before that. <laughs> so what, we're gonna, just going to sit down in front of the telly doing nothing, are we? Well, it's better than watching you pretending to be a train. <laughs> oh, oh Nan, tell her. You can leave me out of it. Oh, I bet everyone else is out there enjoying themselves, having a lovely Christmas. I bet everyone's got their party hats on, playing games and that. Pulling crackers, turkey sarnies, Christmas food and brandy butter. Martin! Martin, open this door! Martin! All right, then. Maybe we should invite the neighbours round. They're all out there for the taking. There's Prince William, the Duke of Westminster, Sir Cliff Richards, and who do you pick? Martin Fowler. Leave her alone, she's upset. So she should be. No wonder Jamie lost his rag. I'll tell you something else. You'll be lucky if you see him again. It's bad enough dropping a kid in the first place. Then he finds out that Dad's one of his mates. He promised me he wouldn't do anything. Well, he's got to defend his honour, hasn't he? He's got nothing to do with him. Besides, what's the matter who the father was? Chloe's gone now, Grandad, all right? He's finished with. Oh, no, it ain't. Not with the Fowlers living 100 yards away. The Slater's one over one of the next door for a drink. I'll tell him another time. I'll tell him what you've got to do. You've got to go over and see Pauline, see what's going on, and make your peace. I don't want to. I'm staying here, all right? Maybe later, yeah? Oh, all right, then. Well, just pop over if you feel like it. No sense in being bored, is there? Yeah. See ya. Trevor, what are you doing here? I've come to take you home. No. No, you can't. Come on. Just... You touch me and I'll scream. The old family's in there. In fact, they're probably all looking out the window right now. Come on, hey! I don't know what's the matter with you. All I want to do is have a chat with my wife. No, I'm not coming. Look, if I upset you, I'm sorry, but, sweetheart, I didn't think you were just going to walk out of me like that. What did you expect me to do? Stick around and get hit again? Did I hit you? Eh, did I? I'm the one who got battered. Well, what about yesterday morning? Throwing all that breakfast stuff around and shouting at me again and again. I'm sorry. It was Christmas Day. The one day in the year when you're meant to be happy. Not scared you're going to get belted round the face any minute. Look, I'll make it up to you, OK? I promise. No. You're not talking around this time. Please, more. I love you. 
No, I'm not coming. No, are you listening to me? I'm not leaving here without you, OK? You're coming home. No. Please. Mo! That's nice, isn't it? Well? Well, what? What did they say? Oh, um, they said they'd try. They said they don't try too hard. <laughs> do you reckon this is live or do you reckon it's pre-recorded? Why? Well, it just seems a bit sad, that's all, having to spend your Christmas in church. Do you ever listen to yourself, Gary? <laughs> what? Mo, tell him why we go to church Christmas Day. Oh, it's uh, Jesus' birthday, isn't it? You've started her off now. Yeah, I mean, you do remember, don't you, Gary, about the little baby in the manger? Yeah, always thought that was a bit dodgy myself. Sorry, Joe, I'm preggers, but don't worry. <laughs> I ain't been playing away from home. God did it. Don't you try that on. <laughs> That's blasphemous, this. All I'm saying is it's a bit iffy, isn't it, coming home and telling your old man that you've been impregnated by an angel of the Lord? No, Mo, he's winding you up. <laughs> well, if it were me, I'd want some answers. He's been up there all night. It wouldn't take too much to force the door if that's what you want. Oh, what's the point? You know what he's like. He'll just clam up. He won't say a word. Well, I could talk to him. What, he talked to you rather than me, would he? That's not what I meant. Oh, yeah. Because you're such a saint, aren't you? You and your sister both. Children can be such a disappointment, can't they, Paulie? Because mm. you'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Doc? I was only saying... Well, don't! Oh, I see. Well, I'll leave you to it, then. I only come round, you know, to offer me support, seeing as with friends, but if I'm in the way... You'll let me know if there are any more developments, though, won't you? Oh. Oh, Dorothy, uh, Paul, in it? Yes, she's through there. Go and sit down. I'll put the kettle on. Make you all a nice cup of tea. Well, you best come in. Yeah, well, I thought we should have a chat, like, you know, see how things stand as head of the two families, like. Because this thing's just as much of a shock to me, you know, as it is to you. Can I ask you something with no disrespect? Well, you speak your mind, sir. How can Sonia be so sure that Martin is the father? You say my granddaughter's a schlepper? No, of course not, but she hasn't mentioned anything about her before, has she? Well, well I can only go on what Sonia's told me. She's a very level-headed girl, and I'm sure she's not going to put the boy in the frame without any good reason. Mm. Well, I don't believe it. What's the boy say? He's locked himself up in his room. Well, they are. He won't come out. Prime example of a guilty conscience. Do you mind? Uh, let's just hang fire here, shall we, till Martin comes down. We're still none the wiser, then. Sorry. Look, there's no real emergency here, is there? Not though there's a baby I worry about. True. Just a minute. If Martin is the father of that baby, then I'm the grandmother, and I want to know about it. How about a bit of air? We could go out for a stroll. I know. Nip down to Victoria Park. No! I want to stay here. It's nice and cosy. Yeah, too right. The only walking I'm doing is the 20 yards over to the pub. Can you sit down? You're doing my head in. Oh, I'm restless. Why don't you phone him, then? Who? Trevor. That's what all this is about, isn't it? No. You've been like this all morning. You're driving us nuts. Oh, leave her alone. Why? It's obvious she wants to go out. Maybe she likes being beaten up. Hey, hey. Look, it was as much my fault as his. We just weren't suited. If you believe that, you're more stupid than our fault. Yeah, well, if you could hold on to a relationship for long enough, you'd realise that they have their ups and downs. I'd have knifed him. Me and all. Oh, it's all right for you lot to pick on him when he's not here. Well, get him round here, then. I'll tell him to his face. Look, how many times do I have to tell you I've left him? It's over! For how long? Will you all leave her alone? She's made a difficult decision, and it's up to us to support her. Yes, Dad. Hello? Hello? Who was it? I don't know, they hung up. Your mum's up. How is she? I not said a word. Want a cup of tea, Jay? No. What happened to you, man, last night? What do you mean? When I came back full of nowhere having a rock about you. That's all sorted out now, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Me and Joe are going to go over to the vet to have a bit of a tie up. Do you want me to come? No. You stay here and look after Mum. Are you opening up the pub? Well, I have to, don't I? Can't Mel do it? What, alone? You all right, Mum? Me and Jay are going to go over to Vic and sort things out. Lisa's going to stay and look after you. Thanks. Oh, not again. 
Bog off, you pervert. I told them. Three times today now that's happened. I think even we do to take Christmas off. Maybe it was just a wrong number. Do me a favour. Anyone fancy a game of Monopoly? No, no one cheats. I do not. She just interprets the rules her way, that's all. Yeah, like shoving Park Lane down your knickers. <laughs> You're only jealous because I won. Yeah, only because you cheated. I do not cheat. So Robbie and that lot coming round or what? Oh, I don't know. Hope Sonia don't show her face. I wouldn't know where to look. Why? She slept with Martin Fowler. I mean, if you're going to be a slag, be a bit picky. Why does that make her a slag? Fifteen and a baby to your name. What would you call it? I'd call it real life, so. Not every bloke she stepped out of S Club 7. I know. No, you don't. Blokes are horrible. They try it on, they manipulate. That poor little sap just didn't know any better. Yeah, she's right. Men are a constant source of disappointment. What is this, slag off blokes day? Uh, Chess, step in here, please, restore order. I'm just saying. Life ain't as simple as though he thinks it is. Just cos you get pregnant don't make you a slut. Just cos you choose a wrong bloke don't make you an idiot. And that right, Mo? What? I'll get it. No, I will. Very shot. Maybe that's the Jacksons now. Do you know, I really resent that. What? Being called a cheat. <sighs> we had that conversation half an hour ago, Nan. Well, I was just saying, I don't like being falsely accused. Who was it? Sally Army. <laughs> Looks like the pub's favourite, then. Yeah, when's opening time, then? 42 minutes and counting. Mm. Hi, everyone. Phil? What's happened? Nothing. Just, uh, just get some bin bags and the broom. Seven one. Yeah, I did. It don't work. I was talking to Mark the other day. He reckons some geezer died in here. In here? What, in this house? It's winding you up, Mo. No, I'm telling you. Some old boy years ago. Had to break the door down. Hello? Is that him again? No, no. It's Fran from school. Oh, what, fat Fran? Ask her how the diet's going. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't talk right now. I miss you, sweetheart. Last night I climbed into bed on my own in my jammies. Just didn't feel the same without my wee girl there for a cuddle. Reg Cox. Reg Cox? I knew him. Right miserable bleeder he was and all. That's nice, yeah. I got some nice presents and all. Yeah, but that's not all. Mark reckons someone topped him. Look, I'm dying here. If you don't come back, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm serious, Mo. Just... Just come to the window. Come to the window so I can see you. Please. Did they find out who did it? Nah, nah, I don't think so. If it was the Reg Cox Arno, they'd have been queuing up. Hmm. Yeah, I've got an alarm clock from Lynn and a cardi from me nan. That's my girl. You look beautiful. No. No way. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be out here all day and all night if that's what it takes. I'm not going home without you. Well, it was nice to talk to you. Maybe see you again sometime. Yeah, we could be haunted. <laughs> Hang on. If they didn't catch whoever did it, there could still be a cold bloody killer on the square. <gasps> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Consider it. Well, that's me all over, isn't it? Let's just get one thing straight, yeah? Yesterday it was a mistake. I was really drunk and I was upset. And just thinking about it makes me feel sick. Yeah, well, you just keep telling yourself that and you might start to believe it. <sighs> Don't push me, Phil. What are you going to do? 
Tell Lisa that night you did last night. She wasn't in any fit state to hear it. You lost your nerve. No, I didn't. I care about Lisa, and the only reason she is still in that house is because of Peggy. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because this morning she could hardly bear me to walk out the door. Yeah, well, it won't last. And what about Steve? Where's he right now? He'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, of course he will. The Vic's open in half an hour if you... You want your job, be there. Right. What exactly do I have to do to keep it, are you? Just keep the panthers at me. You can manage that, can't you? She's your sister. Don't be such a mean cow. Fancy you volunteering. Well, I bumped up with Lynn and I. Yeah, well, she keeps me awake all night snoring. <laughs> Look, that's enough, girls. Zoe's sharing with Mo until we get something sorted, all right? There she is. Where would we be without you? Here. Pub's up in five minutes, Chess. Right then, I'm fit. I think we should stay here. What? With Reg Cox's ghost? <laughs> With all the moaning and the jangle of the <laughs> Yeah, but I've invited next door round for a drink. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're coming, does it? Oh, come on, Mo. Just for a quick one, eh? For me? So we ain't denied it, then? Well, he ain't done anything, as far as I can tell. Well, it'll come out eventually. Well, I suppose it will, yeah. Pauline, she'll drag it out of him. She's not a lady to mess with. I just wish I would have kept my mouth shut. Well, it's bound to come out sometime. No, it won't. If I had listened to Jamie, then everything would have been all right. Do you think he'll be okay in there on his own? Who? Or Reg Cox, the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, give it a rest, will you, Gary? <laughs> Here, Chaz, maybe you should start charging him rent. The amount of time you stay there, I might start charging you. Oh, yeah, but I'm <laughs> taking care of your little girl, aren't I? Well, I wish you'd hurry up and marry her. Nan? You can't rush these things, Mum. Got it too cushy, that's your problem. Yeah, well, she might not want to marry me. Well, how are you going to know if you don't ask her? Oh, I will. I mean, obviously not now. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything, isn't there? You know I love you, don't you, doll? Yeah. See? She's at them. Do you think so? Uh, whose round is it, anyway? Yours! <laughs> <laughs> Coming in. Yeah, give me a minute though. I'm just going to get cleaned up first. What do you want? Drop a scotch? Yeah, it'd be lovely. Come on. What is it? Happy hour? Boxing day, isn't it? Everyone sat at home, stuff. Why don't I go back and make us all some lunch? No, you just sit there and relax. We're looking after you today. I don't want to be a burden. You're not. We love having you on. Don't we, girls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, looks like next door's had the same idea we did. And what happened over there? Phil looked in the mirror again. Two pounds, please, Billy. Oh, and a drop of scotch for Steve. He's back. Oh, I know. What about going against the conversation? <laughs> oh, no. Not that old Chester. Who? Oh. Yeah, them two. She's telling him that she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, twins. <laughs> I mean, it's not his, cos she's had an affair with some bloke at an office party. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of party? I don't know, like a anniversary New Year's Eve party. We'll have to ask Peggy. Well, we can invite the whole square. Oh, I get it. The whole square, including Pat. Well, why not? Yeah, we can have a party, Mother. But Pat is not coming. But he decides to forgive her and bring him up as his own, and they live happily ever after. Oh. Pass the bucket. <laughs> what about Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum? Rob is telling Jim that he's gay. <laughs> oh, I should have seen it coming, son. I mean, like mother, like daughter. What are you saying? Oh, nothing. Man. Just thank your lucky stars you're not a female of the species. I mean, brandy women never have any luck. Never have them. About them two. She's asking him if he can see her roots. <laughs> Maybe she's asking him for a rise. No, I reckon he's warning her off that Steve Avin. Are you expecting something? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Enjoying what? 
I reckon old Bimbo brings half the field. You see the way she keeps looking at him? No way, he's not her type. Yeah, so what's her type then? I don't know, just not him. How do you know? I mean, how can you tell whether people are each other's type by just looking? What's she going on about? <laughs> I mean, look at Lynn and Gary, people might think they're an odd couple. Oh, cheers, <laughs> mate. Just what I wanted to hear. No, what I mean is, in your hearts, you know you're right for each other. What do they put in this stuff? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going back. But we've only just got here. I'll come with you. No, I'm OK, I'm fine. You stay here and enjoy yourselves. I'll go back, put a bit of lunch on, clear up a bit. No, you can go back. But no work of any sort. You just sit down and take it easy, all right? OK. I'm worried about that girl. She ain't been herself all day. Just leave her to it. She'll be fine. Right, come on, then. Who's next? Do you realise how much trouble you've caused? I hardly slept a wink last night. I've had Sonia's granddad round here and Dot poking her nose in. I heard. I just didn't want to come down when everyone was here. Yeah? Well, they've all gone now. So, what Jamie Mitchell said yesterday, is it true? No. So you didn't sleep with her? No. You are telling me the truth. All right. Swear it on your dad's grave. Mum. Come on. Swear it. All right, I swear it. I never touched her. Right, I knew it. So what are you going to do now? Well, I'm going to put a stop to it before it goes any further. You do believe me, though, don't you, Mum? Of course. Come on, down then. If they knew I was in here, they'd freak. <laughs> don't say that. They could be back any minute. Here, let me get your hand. Oh, no, that's all right. I got it. Right, come on, are we off? Trevor, you did mean what you said. That you love me and things are going to change. Of course I did. I've learnt my lesson, sweetheart. This is going to be a new start for the both of us. Time to break. Maybe we should go back. I mean, we can't leave little Mo sitting over there on her own. Yeah, it's a bit daft, isn't it, all that booze over there and us sitting in here? What do you reckon, Kate? I'm easy. Yeah, well, we know that, but do you want to stay here or do you want to go home? Naff off. <laughs> I want to go home. Well, drink up, then. Well, that's a good sign. He didn't throw anything at me as I walked in. How are you? Not bad. I, uh, I have Christmas lunch with my sister, you know. How about you? Oh, I spent it here with the Mitchells. All oh, right, I see. So you made your mind on me? What about? Whose side you're on? Steve, I'm not yours. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, right, you missed me so much you didn't even return my message. What message? Now, I called you yesterday lunchtime. I left a message on the answer phone. Oh, well, don't tell me I did all that groveling for nothing. Um, no, um, I mean, I got the message. So we're okay then? Yeah. Listen, Steve, what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry as well. Look, uh, can you take a tea break or something, please? Come back over to my place. I've got your present. I'm dying to give it to you. Yeah, I can do better than that. I can take the rest of the day off. So, what are we going to do then? Well, I think I'm going to have a lie down because all this excitement's just worn me out. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, come here. Not interrupting anything, am I? I'm taking the rest of the day off. Fine, take as long as you want. You've earned it. And as for you... Yeah, you want some more, do you? Oh, Steve, don't. If I was going to whack you, I would have done it by now. Yeah? So what, then? The club. I've decided not to bother after all. <laughs> Wind him up or what? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I was never that interested anyway. Just fancy taking up for you. So what's changed? Well, I, uh, I went in there and decided to handle what it was cracked up to be. 
You're welcome to it. You know, things are just getting better and better. Something. I'll have to bring them later. That's some pile of presents you got. Must have had a full house, family, guests. We had a few people round, yeah. A few people? Yeah. Look, I think we should go, yeah? Was there anyone there that I know? I don't think so. That Billy was there, wasn't it? Oh, I can't remember. He might have popped in, yeah. But you don't remember? I think Dad invited him. Oh, that's nice. Did you have a wee laugh, eh? A wee cuddle under the mistletoe? Oh, Trevor, please don't, sweetheart. I haven't done anything, honest. No, of course you wouldn't. I mean, after all, you're my wife, aren't you? Yeah. So what? You just had a chat? No, not really. Um, look, can we talk about this at home? Oh, yeah. You better believe we will. Trevor, if you're going to be... Do yourself a favour, Mo. Shut your mouth. Come in. Do you want to come in? Take no thanks. It won't take long. Right. Now, you keep your filthy little lies to yourself. Otherwise, I'll be back here and I'll ram them down your throat. Do we understand each other? I can't believe how quiet it is. Oh, look, here's Peggy. You... Pity she's not here. She's always good for a laugh. Morning. Morning. So, who else a bit? <laughs> that little Mo bent over the cooker right now, rustling us up a lovely lunch. Or Ubering. <laughs> or no, she better not be. She can't help herself. Five says she is. <laughs> Make it a tenner. Oh, this is your sister we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, Boxing day is always the same, isn't it? Nothing ever happens. Hold it much longer. Let it down your end, then. We've looked here already, Dad. Don't get lippy. You never know when, Ma. All right, all right. How come you're so skint anyway? I thought business was going good. Not good enough. Still, should pick up New Year's Eve. Why's that? You're selling calendars and stuff? Party poppers. Right, grab the end. What? Turn it over. They're at this 12 million quid. Rotting away down the back of people's three-piece suites. But I was going to see Martin, Dad. Well, tough. The kid's a loser like the rest of his family. Yeah, but I don't know anyone else around here. I don't care. The fowler's a scum. Steer well clear. Oh, Where are you going? Back to bed. You can't stay cooped up in here. I'll do what I like. Why don't you take this turkey over to Mark for me? Because I don't feel like going out, all right? Look, if you keep yourself locked up in here, it's going to make people start thinking that Sonia is telling the truth. Well, she's not. I know. You know, there's all sorts of tests we can have done to prove the baby isn't yours. Where are you going now? To take Mark's poxy turkey, like you asked me to. Must have been some punch. Didn't do any good, though, did it? Why don't you talk to Sonia? Nothing to say. What's this? Lunch. You ready, then? Yeah. I'll meet you in a bit. Fine. Is that a problem? When I was a little kid, I thought I'd be living on the moon by now. Having my Christmas dinner in little tablets. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, you know, the year 2001. Now, you're not allowed to ignore me until after we're married. Sorry. I was just thinking about Phil and Lisa. Yeah, well done. What about him anyway? I'll give you a headache. I won't be two minutes. See if you can get Garrett to come out. Great way to spend Christmas, this. Don't give me that. You're just as worried as the rest of us. What do you want? I want to talk. And we always log the driver's timesheets in this book here. So we don't get ripped off. That's right. Clever girl. 
The George and I can do joined up handwriting. What's this? We stung up a crash. Mix up the flu, Mr. Evans. And seeing as Barry's too busy organising his party, I offered to help out. Still, I guess there's always better places for me to. No, 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 no. You sit right back down, sweetheart. Dad, I need her. I've still got masses to do, and Natalie's giving me a really hard time. Oh, well, that's a great advert for a year of marriage, isn't it? She's, um, insisting on inviting Pat to the party. You what? You are joking, aren't you? Look, Christmas is one thing. Natalie hasn't got some misguided idea about matchmaking, has she? No. No, of course not. You wouldn't want... Of course I wouldn't. I just want to get this place up and running properly. Be allowed to live my life in peace alone. Hello, love. You all set for your party, then? Oh, yeah, as soon as Barry gets his finger out. Well, if you need any help with the arrangements, you know where I am. Thanks. You're, um, you're coming, then? Don't you want me to? Oh, of course, of course. What about Barry and Roy? No problem. Are you sure? Well, I better look out of a hearty outfit, then, haven't I? <laughs> See ya. You're going to go round Maureen's house and you're going to sit outside until we find out what's happened to her. <sighs> worried. Why don't you call the police? Police? Your name? Get in the cab, Angel. Well, it's definitely mine. Of course it's yours. I wouldn't tell Jamie for the sake of it, would I? But we used... we used the, you know. Yeah, come down. Could we can do that, right, could you? That's not be sure, eh? So I haven't done it with anyone else, all right? I was a virgin when we did it, and there's been no one else since. What, what, no one? Martin, I hated it. It was horrible. I weren't going to do it again in a hurry. Why didn't you tell me all this before, eh? Why, so you can sit in geography and act like a proud dad? I don't think so, do you? Look at us. You can't cope with a baby, I can't cope with a baby. I've left school saying, you know, got a job. I'm not a kid. Listen to yourself, Martin. You don't even like me. And I can't stand you. But it's my baby. She's not yours. She's not even mine anymore, all right? So let's forget it. What am I going to do now, eh? I can't cope with this. Of course you can't cope with it, Martin. Look at yourself. You're a kid. You're a stupid, spoiled little baby. Cheers. Recovered from Christmas yet, have we? Seems like years ago to me. Not to me. I never want it to end. Same again. You all right? What are you doing here? I'm just doing mum's shift while she settles back in. Well, better watch your step, Mel. Got a new boss to impress. Well, I'm easily pleased. There you go. Yeah, thanks. Cheers. Good luck. What's the matter, sweetheart? You look terrible. I've, um... I've just invited Pat to the party. You've done what? Well, she looks so miserable. She deserves to be after what she did to Dad. She's not coming to the party. But I've invited her then now. Then uninvite her, because if she comes, I'm not. Well, I'm with Barry on this. See? Fine, well, I'll, uh, I'll just go and break her heart then, shall I? Well, good, because she needs to know how it feels. Do you think the... What? Fancy some more crisps? Two pounds sixty and eight buttons. Useless. You get that, I'll put this back. All right, what's up? Santa didn't bring you a scooter. Look, I need a pick me up. Ash, go and get me some snacks. You got a big mouth, sunshine. What? If I catch you opening your mouth about my business in front of Ashley again. I'll break your fingers. Sorry, I'll do a thing. Yeah, just be more careful in the future. I just want to get out of here, you know, just totally out of here. <laughs> Guess what? I've got just the thing. You didn't give me any money. Since when did we need any money? What's going on? I feel better go. I think you'd better add. After all the lectures you gave me about staying clear of drugs. 
If I get you taking that rubbish, I'll tear your arms off. But it's right for Martin. Because he's a worthless little druggie. And you're selling him the gear. I don't sell to Martin. Martin gets it for nothing. It's all part of my plan. I thought you were going shopping. Oh, sorry, Pat. Close till New Year. Yeah, Pauline says Mr. Papa Double is doing reckon it's worth opening. What am I going to wear then? Oh, good excuse to buy something new then, isn't it? Bit of a surprise. Roy inviting her to the party. Looks like New Year might be even more entertaining than Christmas was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get your coronation turkey? No. I sent Martin over with it ages ago. I've not seen him all day. Ah, talk of the devil. Oi! What did you do with this turkey? Mark had to go out and buy his own dinner. Oh, I went round to Ashes. I must have left it there. Oh, I'm very clever of you. I'll oh, get off my back, you grumpy old cow. I'm going to Asif's. Kill that sod, you Jackson. I just couldn't sit still. So I bought you round some Turkish stew. Ah. Uh. Oh, how you been? Oh, our Maureen's gone missing. Charlie's beside himself. Daughters, eh? Who'd have him? I see Laughing Boy come round. Did you give him what for? Yeah. That's my girl. Any sign of the other one? No. It's all over. Is that how you want it, is it? I told him a secret about Martin now off the square now. So you wouldn't have him back, even if he come back crawling? Of course I would. I love him, don't I? But you did, didn't you? You dirty rat, you! I'm telling you, I'm gonna talk... <laughs> Who's that bloke? Uh, that's the bloke who used to play Dracula in all them old uh, scary movies. Well, you don't look very scary. Any sign of her? Sorry, love. Two hours we're stuck outside that house like donuts, not a peep. It's your turn now. I'm going to make Kez. Yeah, makes a cup of tea first, love. I'm freezing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me and all. I'm going out. Will you make it then, Kev? You are joking. Here, Chess. Tell her that's the geezer that used to play Dracula in all the old scary movies. And I still haven't been paid. That was Christopher Lee. He played the other bloke. What, Frankenstein? No, nah, no, nah, Chess is right. That's um, Peter Cushion. He, he played the part of the vampire hunter, didn't he? What was his name? Turn that telly down. Hello, Mo. Oh, hello, Lynn. Is there any word yet? All right. Well, look, let me know if you hear anything. See you later. Good night. Little Mo. Sister's here. You all right, Robbie? What have you been planning our holiday? Great. Oh, poor Robbie. Miff, because you ain't coming. No, I've got more important things to worry about. I thought I saw you two come in here. Why ain't you at home in case the phone rings? Gary's there. Oh, my mind's at rest then. And what are you doing in here skulking? Sorry? My granddaughter could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere, while yours is sitting home wondering where her family is. Yeah, well, she should have thought of that before she let us all down. The only one that's been let down here is Sonia. Used to her as useless as punching Judy, and as for Jamie... Oh, I thought she washed her hands of him. Are you thick as well as ugly? Of course she hasn't. Don't have to listen to this, you know. No, but you have now, so try and be some use for a change. Cheers, Murray, needed that. Well, I know you'd be too useless to do it. It's not your day, is it? It's not my life. How about cheer you up, Robbie? Me and Zoe's been planning a party. When? New Year's Eve. Everyone will be in the Vic for Barry's do. Yeah, but I've got to go to that. I was his best man. Well, which would you rather do? Sit in the Vic with the oldies all night, like you usually do, Robbie? Or come round to Zoe's empty free bedroom down? Yeah? What am I going to tell Barry? Ironic, really, Pauline, isn't it? Your Martin going off the rails and my Nick turning into a model son and father. If you say so. Do you want another? Oh, I didn't order, but seeing as it's Christmas. Um, Phil, can I have the same again, please? <sighs> Mel. Customer. Oh, don't wear yourself out, will you? Well, I don't want to tread on any toes, do I? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just don't want you to think I'm trying to take over, that's all. Just been shopping. Stuffed peppers for tea. Oh, right, I'll meet you there. Mum's cooking for me. Are you working all night? Oh, I'm playing that by you. Well, all right, son. 
Come to have a go. No, 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 of course not. No, here. I saw you stuck one on that uh, Martin Fowler. Didn't do any good though, did it? No, I suppose not. No, it made me feel better though. I'm thrilled. Look, Sonia, she knows she's hurt you, but she's only a kid, see? And she needs... needs you. What about what I need? I'm not any good at all this. Any of this, Me and you both. Can you imagine what I've been through? <laughs> well, we can all say that, son, can't we? <laughs> but Sonia, I mean, she's come out of it the worst, hasn't she? Eh? I wish I could walk away from all this, but I can't. Yeah, well, tough. There's nothing stopping me. No, son, no, I don't suppose there is. There's no reason why you should see her ever again, is there? All right, I'll come. Great. I thought you could do a couple of hours on the door and organise a booze. Oh, I get it. You want me to do all the work and I miss my best mates too. Come on. Hi, Nut. I'm looking for you everywhere. Audrey said you'd gone to town. I just come back. Got a new top for your party. Oh, well, that's nice. Was it, um, was it expensive? Well, it was more than I could afford. Nah, it didn't cost much. I got it in that charity shop up the high street. What's this? Nothing. Well, it's just a birthday card from Ian's kids. Oh, I completely forgot. I wish I could. Don't want to be reminded at my age. Well, cheer up. It's only a birthday. Barry went ballistic. He said you couldn't come. To the party? What about Roy? What did he say? Pretty much the same. No more than I deserve, I suppose. Uh, meet me for a drink in the fit later, eh? Just the two of us. I don't want to cause any more trouble. You won't. They're playing snooker tonight. Besides, I can drink with who I like. Look, I've got a whole bottle we can just go and get ripped. And where are we going to go? I ain't sitting in your bedroom off me box. Oh, anywhere. What does it matter? What's it going to get off our heads? We'll need money for the booze. Well, I'm skin. Look, we could try Kim. She's working. Come on, let's go and try her. Come on in. Who are you? Wait, who's running, man? What's going on? Last lover boy. You best keep away from my family. Oh, all right, that's enough. That's enough. I haven't even started yet, Mark. How would you feel if it was your sister? Using your fists ain't gonna get you anywhere. Martin, make yourself scarce. Now! Wait, man, what was all that about? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get out of my head. It's better to say the choice. Two blokes in blindfolds coming out. Feeling all over. <laughs> Ma, got any more beers? No, you drunk them all. Hey, go out and get some more beers. We ain't got no money. How many times? Use this. Why don't you give me some of them pills? I can flog them. You? The punters will rob you blind. What? Kids like Martin Fowler? I told you, I don't sell the kids. Martin Fowler's an exception. What have you got against him? It's personal. Is that you, Maureen? No, it's only me. Is still no words? No. Come on, Charlie, you've had your five minutes. All set, then? Ready when you are. Uh, do I get a kiss? Later. What about you, Kat? Hmm. You're not funny. And call us if you see anything suspicious. Well, of course, yeah. Apart from the two weirdos parked up in the taxi, obviously. Here we go, then. Safe as asses. Yeah, as long as your mum doesn't know the keys are missing. Oh, I'm freezing, man. We'll die in here. All right, I'll, I'll get a couple of machines going. And anyway, these will keep us lively. I ain't touching them. You look all right, State. These pills always keep me going, mate. Why, because you and Robbie have a little rat. Oh, look, take one of these, right? And I'll tell you all about it. Promise. Be all right. It's coming in. What's the big mystery? It's not funny. I'm not laughing. I just want to know, you know, why Robbie's got in for you. We know Sonia's baby. Yeah, what about it? It's mine. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> we, 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 we did it once, and, and then I said all that stuff about her, and now I'm a dad. A father. <laughs> <laughs> Have, yeah. have you sorted out that order for my drive? Oh, yeah, it's in the cell. I'll go and get it for you. No, give us a hand, will you, love? That was quick. Do you want another one? No, I'm driving, aren't I? It's all 
thought you two were going out. Yeah, we are. Dad's just picking something up. What's that doing here? I thought I told you. Calm down, will you? Harry, it's just a drink. It's a birthday. Hardly a day to celebrate. Look, I I'm sorry. I knew this was a mistake. I'll go. Yeah, you do that. Sometimes I really don't like you very much. Me? I'm not the one who ruined Dad's life, am I? Harry, just no, no, leave it, will no, you? No, she's got to listen. Oh, to what? To your endless ranting or your petty childishness? Oh, it's no skin off my nose, is and it? And you're not much better. Playing the hard man, acting like you don't care. You're pathetic, the pair of you. Sorry, Dad, I don't know what's got into her. You ought to go after her. Me? She's the one who started it. Go after her. Right, last one. Are you all right, Roy? Have I missed something? Mel, Mel, listen, I've got something for you. Oh, come on, look, just sit down for a minute. Oh. <laughs> Steve. You shouldn't be buying me presents. Well, it wasn't expensive. Just open it. Oh, a newspaper. Yeah, but check out the date, right? 1st of March, 1901. This newspaper is going to be 100 years old on the day we get married. And on the morning of our wedding, I'm going to go out, right? I'm going to get the first edition, put it together with this one, and then 100 years from then, our great-grandchildren are going to open this up and think of us. Steve, that's so lovely. Makes a change from bath salts, I suppose. Changing nappies at 16. You're right, I'm salty. All salty. It's not anything to do with me. I got away with it. Oh, mate, this tune is so fresh. <laughs> Mind you dancing to the washing machines. This, uh, this is a little thank you for my drivers on New Year's Eve. Uh, will you be able to hand them up? Tonight? It's a bit early, isn't it? Well, no, no, on, uh, on New Year's Eve. Uh, you don't mind doing another shift. Well, Zoe's just been by to ask me to our party. Please. All right. Trouble time. <laughs> you know, you're smarter than your brother, but uh, now I think you better go to that party. Now, um... Do you think you could teach an old man how to draw in ten minutes? Right, well, if you're OK, I'm going to head off. Yeah, I'm fine. And thanks for helping out. I've just got here. Well, I need an early night. You stay here. Night. Night, love. What do you think you're playing at? Sorry? All this today, following me around, making snidey comments. Can you imagine it, please? Christmas Day was a mistake, Phil, and I don't want you throwing it in my face for the rest of my life. Well, you've got a very high opinion of yourself, haven't you? I'm just helping Mum out. Look, I'm warning you. You keep winding me up, and I'm going to tell Steve. Now you told Lisa. <sighs> You're sick. <laughs> what does that make you? Darling. We've got a visitor, sweetheart. Oh, well, I've got things to do. What do you want? Came to apologise. You took your time. I didn't know what to say. I, I didn't think you'd forgive me. Why should I? 
I made me tell you about Martin. You promised me it would make a difference. I didn't know it would. No? Then I asked you to keep it a secret, and the whole square knows. I know. And I'm sorry, it was all messed up. Sonia, I didn't come here for a fight. I just came to say I'm sorry, all right? Yeah, well, you've said it. I better get back. Yeah. Jay, come round to see me again, eh? I will. Place. What are you after? Women's underwear? I thought there'd be a cash box. But that made me do it. You know what? You're almost as crazy as he is. I don't know what it's like. One minute he's my best mate, and the next, the next he's treating me like a little kid. You gotta drop a pill, man, and chill out. You're joking, right? It'd kill me. He'll never know. Just do it. Do whatever you wanna do. Stuff with everyone else, mate, because they're a waste of time, I'm telling you. You know what? You could burn this old place down for all I care. Burn it all square down. <laughs> yeah, stuff him. What are you doing here? What's going on? Ah, uh, the usual suspects, eh? Come on, I'm taking you on. And you can take that grin off your face, sunshine. Come on, I want this mess cleared up, and then I want you out of here. Come on, chop, chop! Isn't there anything less depressing on? The Dracula film on the other side, I think he's got that Humphrey Cushion bloke in it. Hey, Mo, what was the name of the geezer Peter Cushion played in the vampire movies? Dracula. No, 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 no. The other geezer that went after him, you know, with a bit of 4B2. Van Eflin. Time the ass. Whose turn is it now? I'll get it. Hello? Mo! Are you all right? Where the hell are you? Clacton? Well, why did you just run out on us? She's fine. Well, tell her next time she goes running back to her husband that she could have left us a note. Yeah, can we call off Interpol now? Uh, Jess, ask her to name that geezer in the movie. Oh, uh, Gary wants to know who Peter Cushing played in the vampire movies. I told you, Van Eflin. Right, cheers, babes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know what I feel. But as long as you're all right. Yeah, see ya. One of you four is going to finish me off. Well, can you put me out of my misery? It was Van Helsing. Van Heflin was in shame. Sorry, the shops were shut. <laughs> the kids did a better one. Uh, did you fancy having a drink at the Vic? Or like this? Yeah, yeah, well, maybe later on then. Maybe New Year's Eve. Oh, I, I don't want you to think that... I mean... I know it doesn't. Yes, I, I'd like that, thanks. Just that I don't see why our problems should uh, affect other people's lives. I'll keep quiet about this if you do. Ah, oh, cheers, bruv. Look, just stay away from the cottons, all right? Oh, Ashley's all right. I don't care about Ashley. Just steer clear of his dad. He's a psycho. Did you get the thing? I... I tried. I tried? I went for the cash box in the laundrette, but... But what? Nothing. I, I lost my bottle. Of course you did. Come on. Pocket. No, Dad. You're not in prison no more. You've got something to eyes. Dad, get off me. They're not mine, honest, Dad. I'm looking after them for someone. Too many times I've heard that, Paul. How many cell searches and shakedowns. I've heard some snivelling junkie come out with that. Honest, Dad, they're not mine. If you say they're not mine again, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> come on, where'd you get them? I'm not telling you, I'm not a graph. You always taught me that. I told you. Whatever, ever found you with any pills, grass, powders, or anything, I'll cut your face off. Now, what's it gonna be? 
They're Martins. Martin Fowlers. <laughs> We return to Albert Square this evening at 8 and if you're staying in tonight, celebrate the new year in style with BBC One Wales. Full details of the lineup coming up straight after this. Next this afternoon, we're off live to Tarrant Say for more from the castaways. Yeah.